Hey guys, what's up? Patty from Mountain Sledder. We're up on the mountain here today. Sean and I are riding these new 2021 Yamaha SX Venom Mountain and the Arcticat Blast 4000M. And we're having a heck of a good time. So these are the new mid-size models from the companies. These guys are powered by a 400cc electronic fuel injected liquid cooled engine. So it's a single cylinder, but it's surprising. It doesn't sound like a thumper, it doesn't vibrate, um, but it produces about 65 horsepower. So a little less than half than what you're gonna get out of an 800 class sled. Hey guys, this is Jarrett Smith, Snowmill Product Manager, North American Snowmill Division. The model you see here is our 2021 SX Venom Mountain. We're targeting this vehicle for smaller riders, riders that are transitioning up to bigger mountain sleds, giving them that 7 8 size snowmobile, 65 horsepower category, and that single beam rear suspension. So innovative technology for the mountain side of the industry. With the 2 inch lug, you can really get in some tight areas. It has the maneuverability with its lightweight. It gets you to really enjoy that kind of fundamentals of snowmobiling and learning the basics of mountain riding. So we really feel it's an important snowmobile for those that are starting to step up, replacing some of that older technology snowmobiles that are currently out there and getting someone to the latest and greatest such as this. Hopefully no one comes around the trail. I'll oh, get pelted a bit here. <laughs> Have you noticed that you can really rally these around the corner, Sean? Yeah, 38 inch ski stats so helps for uh, laying it down. You hardly have to let off the gas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Well, just like a big sled, the scratchers will kick up some uh, chunks of snow. Yeah, they still hurt. So we got 146 track. I think I'm at a top speed of 50 miles an hour. That's pretty impressive. Oh, yeah. I think that looks rough. I'm taking the smooth trail. Are you? See you, Scott. Yeah, that's pretty smooth, man. Honestly, that's like... No, oh, that, that's impressive, I, you know. My hands are getting hot too. I gotta turn these things down. Okay, check this out. Hand warmer on off, thumb warmer on off. Yeah. High beams, low beams. And this is reverse, check this out. <laughs> Boom. I'm in reverse. Easy as that. That's pretty neat. Don't bump that while you're riding. Add but. electric start, always. So the rule that if you can start it, you can drive it, I guess, does that still apply on this thing? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I don't know. Anybody can everywhere. read it, I guess that's the, that's the answer. All right, Sean, let's go find some hills, see what these things can do, hey? Well, I'm pretty impressed so far here. I'm doing a little boondocking, we'll call it. Yeah, it's going pretty good. Oh, I see you way over there. Well, these trees are a little tight here, just ducking. The little 146 by 2 inch chew's pretty good, hey? Yeah. We got nice snow conditions for these Woo. sleds right now. Yeah, I mean, this is good traction in here, right? I'm gonna do a little wheelie up this thing. <laughs> Almost. Sean, where are you? I'm side hill and pat. I'm getting rad. <laughs> oh, nice. I can hear that thing just purring at 7,300 RPM. It's purring like a kitten. The fastest I saw on the trail, well, speed, I don't know, it was like 53, but I guess 7,600 RPM I saw very briefly. 7,600 RPM? Yeah, that was like a slight downhill. I got myself in a little bit of a tight spot here. I'm gonna scratch hers up and see how this thing does backing up in fresh snow. Oh man, easy peasy. Look at that. Piece of cake. All right, Sean, I'm coming to find you. 
creek bottom. Here we go. Oh yeah. 400 cc's of unbridled rage. I like, I like the sound this thing makes. <laughs> yeah, the tree's getting a little tighter. Still got the GoPro, that's good. All right, I might have to head to the trail here at some point soon. Oh yeah. This is looking good. Well, I've seen pretty impressed so far. <laughs> These things, you're not going fast, but you still keep moving. They slide up pretty decent for a 38 stance. No complaints there. Best of both worlds. Alright, check it back to that road. Trees everywhere. Oh yeah, skis off the ground there. <laughs> Catch some air, boom! No bumper on the front, gotta be a little careful. Well, if your 10 year old kid is riding this thing and gets it stuck, they'll have a little bit of a trouble, a little bit of a hard time moving it, getting it unstuck. Still got a little bit of weight to it. But chances are they won't be riding in conditions like this. Oh yeah! Just chewing! Our two inch log working good. All right, we're layered down after a little bit of boondocking there through the trees. I'm having a blast riding these things, Pat. Hold well, on, I gotta just try one of these here with a little bit of a... Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, that cat's really performing. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you blew it. Good thing for the electronic fuel injection. It's just gonna keep running here. <laughs> All right, Sean. <laughs> Let's do a little boondocking. A little goondocking. Where are we going here? Yeehaw. Woo! Oh, Sean, we got an opening up here. Oh, we got some Woo! chorus smashing going on here. Oh, God. Sean, get the skis up. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. We got Jared from Yamaha with the skis up. Everybody's getting the skis up. Nice. I'm gonna go check out my wind lip jump over here. Yeah, okay. If I had one of these when I, kid, when I was a kid, man, that'd be awesome. Oh, big time. I had a Moto Ski 340, which is pretty sweet too. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah nice white sleds, hey, make it easy. Bunch of tracks in this thing. How's that backside of it look? Looks like, ah, uh, flat. Some nice pow turning areas down here. Oh man, I did not even bottom out there. <laughs> this is good. Yeah, I'm impressed with the handling. I lays it over. I mean, not as easy as a 36, but. Yeah, I mean, it's once, pretty close. Once it's there, it's pretty good. Yeah, totally. And it's like really predictable, too. Yeah. I don't know, it's that single beam suspension, I guess. Oh, there you are, way over there. Yeah, I'm smashing all the power before you can get it packed. The thing that impresses me most about these sleds, honestly, is the suspension. Yeah? Like, it's good. <laughs> Hit it, Sean. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I got more distance than you last time. You're rad, buddy. I saw that. And I just had a sore back looking at it. So. <laughs> no way, man. This thing's just soaking up. <laughs> the little 146 track is pretty good, eh? Like for what it is. Yeah. It's what? a two-inch lug, or what is this? Two-inch lug, yeah. Yeah, works good. I think if your kid respected the throttle, you could get a five-year-old on here. Right, five to, I don't know, I'm 33 and having a good time, so I would say the age range is about five to 40, probably. I bet my dad would love this thing, putting around the lake. Oh, yeah. You'd be laughing. If you weren't doing hardcore mountain stuff, which, let's face it, you're not really going to... No, if you're buying one of these, you're not doing hardcore mountain stuff. You're, like, just ripping around and having, like, an agile little sled. Like, you could use it for anything. Yeah. They stay nice and cool on the trail. Ripped along at a pretty good pace. Yeah. I mean, we yeah. had a tape to the bar for a lot of the trail, but that's not <laughs> the fun. Yeah, the motor must be robust because it's had a hard week of abuse, that's it. One thing that surprises me, Sean, about this little single cylinder engine is that it doesn't really sound like a thumper. No. Like, it just sounds like a snotty little, I don't know, kind of like a twin or something. And, and it's, it doesn't really vibrate either. Like, it's smooth. I got a log jam for you, Pat. So I could send it off that. <laughs> That'd be sweet. Do it. <laughs> oh, it's a little tree. Maybe could actually. Oh no, it's a it's a log. That might not work out. Hey, let's go in the trees a little bit here. All right. It's actually it's kind of tight, but you got to look at things a little different with a two inch wide front end. I, I I found myself getting stuck once. You can really steer these things with your hips, eh? It's like a lot like the like that. I remember riding these trees on a full-size sled a couple years ago, and they were too tight, but they actually seem all right with these things because you can go nice and slow, pick your line. Yeah. And there's a bit of a challenge. Oh, God. Oh, God, tight spot. I want to drop down a little more here. Yeah, I like it. It's getting risky. I'll tell you what, though. Like, the responsiveness to the throttle is not quite what it is on the uh, 800 <laughs> class sleds we've kind of been growing to custom and yeah. I've been riding all week. But, uh, yeah, once you get it going, let me say, I'm going to go up that way and back up to the meadow. Yeah, you got a nice line. I'm going to try to lay one over and make my way up there. Oh, yeah, let's see it. Oh, that's how it's done, kids. So that's pretty impressive. Yeah, that was good. It wasn't going fast, but I kept going. So, yeah. Yamaha and Articat, they're pitching these things not just to kids or, you know, teenagers or as a step up as you get older. Certainly that's part of it, but also, you know, just to smaller people or newer people or people with less confidence. And so, yeah, a good confidence booster for people that are new that, you know, maybe don't, don't really want to build confidence with 160 class horsepower. All right, I was on the SX Venom model. Now I'm on the Transporter Lite. A little more of a utility sled here. Hey, another 400. I like it. Same gearing, same track length, I guess. This has a smaller lug. It's a mid-sized madness today, Sean. It's, I like it. That'll be the title of a YouTube video, hey? Ram. Oh, here's a wheelie shot for you, if I've, if I've ever seen one. Oh, that one does look good. I'm going to do it right now. I'm yeah, not even gonna, I'm, uh, not even, I'm going to be the athlete shot for once. I'm going to go pro. I'll go pro record you. It'll be great. All right. I'm going to throttle chop like about 50 feet out, and then I should be full, full pin by the time I get there. Nice. <laughs> So that's it for us on the new 2021 7 8 Articat Blast and Yamaha SX Venom mid-size sleds.
Thanks for watching Mountain Sledder videos. We'll catch you on the next one. Look here for a link. Look here for a link. Here, here, here.